Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. Doing JMA Wednesday for today's second video. So we're going to have a look at the JMA seasonal model uh, for this update uh, in terms of um, uh, 500 mm high diameter temperature precipitation and longitude for the next three months. So it'll be August, September and October as well. So uh, it's going to get us into the autumn and I shall get on back for you in a moment. Just say our first video today was our 6 a.m. upload. And we've got 10 to 14 day with all of the great coming for you later on this afternoon. So uh, please like, share, subscribe, and share so show everybody to do that. 10 to 14 day will include all of the info on the chance of very, very hot weather uh, early next week. More about that. This afternoon. Right, let's have a quick look at the uh, chair base seasonal then. So we're going to start off with the month one, 500 millibar height and only from the Arctic and North Pole view down. This is the North Pole just here. This is a wider Arctic circle around there. And then we've got mid latitudes through there. Well, that went wrong, didn't it? Um, so 500 millibars, 18,000 feet is an area in actually a high pressure and low pressure being moved around by the jet stream running above. Yellow, orange, and red extrapolate to above average heights, which is high pressure. Blue to below average heights, which is low pressure. I've not done that for a little while, have I? That's a throwback. That's a blast. Blast from the past, isn't it? Um, I wonder if anybody will recognise that little little speech. I don't know. Um, anyway, I'm so sorry for you. I'm on a tangent. So, uh, August looks like that with above average heights sitting over and to the east of the country will probably be a chop of low out in the Atlantic. And between the two, I would reckon we're bringing up winds from the south again in uh, August. So that could be hinting at quite a warm, if not a hot August, actually, for that area of above average heights sitting over and to the east of the country, low pressure and west have combined, if that's right, I would have thought to pull up the winds from a southerly direction. So a hot end to what's been a very warm summer, if that's right, potentially. September looks like that, very different for September. The high pressure goes north, We're above average heights uh, through Iceland in towards northern parts of Scandinavia, with below average heights to the south, southwest country, and over central parts of Europe. This was some projection southwards. And uh, we would potentially bring in a wind from like an east sea type direction about, I think. But it would be much more unsettled too, uh, with those shots of low pressure, especially this one just here, uh, threatening some uh, very unsettled weather potentially. So I reckon September could be a cooler and wetter month based on that. Uh, and then we've got October, which is month number three, so it's a very long way out, not particularly reliable. But then high pressure centres in the Atlantic through here. With below average heights around Scandinavia, and that would send the jet stream into more of a west northwesterly type flow. So, reverting back to an Atlantic pattern, albeit one that could be quite cool, uh, as you bring in the wind on a north um, jet stream on northwest southeast alignment. So, so maybe more Atlantic driven, but a bit cooler perhaps as we get through into October. Of course, beyond that, we would have to wait and see how far north this high pressure is going, if indeed. Uh, it does, because it is beginning to reach towards southern Greenland there in October. Quite interesting, but of course anything cold would be beyond that point. Right, so uh, let's come back to uh, August. This is the tropical and mid-latitude view, although you can see the UK and Ireland top right angle chart as you're looking at it. The Arctic, Greenland, Scandinavia, Iceland, all those areas are off the chart up there. But we've had a look at that view down, so you know what's going on. And a reminder of that week, of that uh, month, one, I should say, 500 millibar high time with the above average height sitting over and to the east of the country, potentially pulling up the wind from the south. Let's see. So the temperature anomaly looks average to uh, a little bit above average here for August. So if we come over here and see a warm month is predicted with those yellow colours across most parts of the continent. So it could be quite a hot August. Um, precipitation-wise, maybe a little bit wetter than average to our far north. So, like Scotland, could be coming out with a rather more unsettled month. Dry for England, Wales, or driving average for England, Wales. Most parts of Europe looking quite dry as well. Where's the wind direction? Always a job to make these out, these black arrows. So, it looks like they're coming in from light and east to southeasterly. So, maybe a little bit of Scandinavian high type hint. Here, but I reckon the wind direction, that black arrow is going something in that 
direction. Um, so that could be very warm. That could be a hot August. We were having a very warm July, and uh, we could round off a, 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 a you know properly hot summer with a hot August. Actually, with that, you know, I would not be surprised. Hints are there from uh, the JMA. Very different for September. We get the above average height setting up then to the north through here, this area, with uh, below average heights just there and over here too. Let's have a look at the temperature anomaly. Nowhere near as warm in September as it is in August. Still probably a little bit above average. Notice all of the yellows have disappeared. Um, those yellow shadings have disappeared across the continent. So definitely a bit of a cool down uh, that's going on there. Precipitation wise, it's a bit wetter than average, just to our west and southwest too. So I think a rather more unsettled and cooler month is implied here for September. A cool down and, uh, you know, potentially some useful rainfall. I've got will have been quite a dry summer as well, a very dry summer. Hopefully, some useful rainfall and a bit of a cooler month for September. Um, the arrows uh, look like that in September for the mean wind direction. They're always difficult to make out, but I reckon they're kind of variable, and if anything, probably coming in, as we suspected, from like more of an easterly type direction. Right, and then we go through to October, where we take the above average heights out into the Atlantic, build them up in the Atlantic. There's a trough of low pressure over here. We can't see it. It's around Scandinavia. And so we thought that the wind direction is probably going into like a west northwesterly type pattern. Temperature anomaly, again, close to average in, uh, in October. There it is, maybe a little bit above. Uh, precipitation anomaly doesn't look overly unsettled either, so still a little bit on the drive and outside, but it is a bit wetter just to our west, but not much sign of like the Atlantic really ramping up there, bringing lots of wet and windy weather in. And the uh, wind direction via the black arrows looking like that, and probably coming in from like a northwesterly type direction, I think, and just about see that there but wind is uh, coming in come over here again wind coming in from northwest direction so i think it'll be probably quite cool for october if that comes off maybe bringing some early sort of uh early uh, autumn frost you know and that sort of thing but not overly unsettled moaning is coming in off the atlantic that wind flow uh, it's not a particularly unsettled month. The precipitation anomaly doesn't look look that wet. So um, probably a coolish, dryish sort of month, maybe with some early frost and whatnot. But it is three months away, so it's a very, very long way off and not worth worrying about. Right, so the upshot is August shaping up to be potentially dry and quite hot, I think. Uh, September, cooler and more unsettled. And then October... Probably relatively dry, a little bit on the cool side uh, with winds in from the northwest. And we'll uh, see how it goes. You know, any forecast beyond five, seven days comes with big health warnings attached. Only a snapshot of what model is showing uh, this month. It could look very different uh, when we look at this again uh, next month. Of course it could. Right, so we're going to be back later on with your 10 to 14 day. That includes all our bridge features and all of the latest info, or info, I should say, on um, the potential for extremely hot weather early next week. So more about that coming up later on. But for this one, for Jeremy Wednesday, that's all for now. And thanks so much.